Hi, I'm Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to reset your Eris surfboard router to factory default settings. What this is going to do is reset all the passwords and all the settings on here that might be messing you up or that might have been on here previously. It's going to set everything back to factory default just like you got it new from the store and took it out of the box for the first time. And once you do that, all the settings that you'll need, the information that you'll need to log into the router is on the bottom there with the Wi-Fi security key and the network name and all that stuff. So that's how you'll get back into the router. The first thing we're going to want to do is plug it in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here. There's no power button on this one, but if you have a power button, make sure it's turned on. So as this thing boots up, you'll see all the lights do little crazy things. They'll turn on and turn off. So what we're going to do is you're going to look on the back of this router. Now I don't, I'm pretty sure they make other routers and they have different models. So your model might be different from this, but it's basically, they all work the same. There's a little hole. It looks like there might be a button missing or broken or something, but there's a button inside of that hole. It says reset. And you're going to want to find something that you can press into that hole and press that button. It's like there's this pen I have here, but the pen is not really good enough. I could probably take the pen apart and push it in there. But I have this shower curtain ring that I just kind of dismantled. I had some extras lying around. And this fits in the hole nicely. And there's a you'll feel a button down inside there. So basically, you're going to press this in there, and you're going to, while it's powered on, you're going to hold that button down for at least 15 seconds. And let me show you what happens. I'm just going to set this down and prop my camera up so I can show you what, with two hands, what's going on here. So I'm going to shove this object into the hole. And I'm going to hold that down for 15 seconds and then I'm going to let it go. So I'm going to show you what happens to the lights when I do that. So I'm going to hold the button in starting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Now I can let go of the button and watch what happens to the lights. You'll see those, the lights will change, they all, they all turn off, and they'll just do a little pattern. And when the lights, if the lights do that, that means it worked. And the router is basically just going to reset now and it's going to take off any settings. It's going to reset all the passwords, it's going to change all the settings back to just a normal, so you should be able to just. From this point, you should just be able to connect back to that Wi-Fi and configure it with no, uh, nothing crazy configured on there. So if that helped you out, please give my video a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.